An international conference of far-right politicians and their supporters resumed in Brussels on Wednesday after police shut it down. A French far-right politician Eric Zemmour had been due to address the gathering but was turned away by police on Tuesday evening on the orders of the local mayor. Uh, the mayor said there were concerns about public safety. Belgium's prime minister criticised the order, which a court has since overturned. Uh, the National Conservative Conference uh, brought together politicians like Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Britain's former in Interior Minister Suella Bravum was there, uh, as well as nationalists and fundamentalist Christians, and this all ahead of European uh, parliamentary elections in June. So what's going on? Let's ask our Brussels correspondent Rosie Burchard, who was at the conference. Welcome, uh, Rosie. So talk us through what happened. Yeah, I was indeed at this conference earlier and it's basically a gathering which is meant to bring together people from the right of the political spectrum. So from the far, the right of the centre right, right to the far right and different political groupings, different politicians. They had faced some practical hurdles in getting this event off the ground here in Brussels. They struggled to find a venue, but they did find one and the conference had kicked off on Tuesday. But then a local mayor, and I should say there are 19 of these local mayors in Brussels, so we're talking about very regionalised decision making, took out an order and uh, sent in police to shut down the, co the conference. But that turned out only to be temporary because that order by that local mayor was then overturned by a local league, by a, a Belgian legal body. And it was also heavily criticised by the Belgian Prime Minister. And amid all of that controversy, well, that meant that by the time that I got to the conference earlier on Wednesday, well, it was back up fully running and little in the way of drama going on there on day two of the conference. Things moving quite smoothly, it seems, with different political leaders, including the former Polish Prime Minister and the current Hungarian Prime Minister taking to the stage. And so what do we think uh, the, the mayor's claims about a, a danger to public uh, order were? Were they real or political? Well, the mayor has, of course, faced a lot of criticism, not only from those that were attending the conference who accused him of cancel culture, but also, as I said, from right really across the political spectrum. Also, the Belgian prime minister, who's very much a centrist in his politics, criticised this local mayor. Now, he was defiant even after the court returned his order. He said it was based on what he believed was a threat to public order. He talked about the fact that those in attendance included people he perceived to be provocateurs, homophobes, However, he also said that he does not hide the fact that he has no time or patience for those who he describes to be as people who preach hate. Now, that uh, is, uh, regardless of that fact, the court has made a decision and, he, and the uh, mayor uh, acknowledges that democracy has taken its course there. But it's hard not to see this in any way, at, at least to the fact that that mayor seems to have handed those politicians gathered in Brussels a whole lot of extra publicity. Yeah, there is, there is that. So we have all these, these right-wingers gathered. And, of course, the background to this is European uh, Parliament elections that begin in June. And how are right-wing uh, parties expected to do in those? Yeah, well, look, there is a wide polling and predictions that this parliamentary election is likely to result in a swing to the right here in Brussels in the European Parliament. Now the question really is just how far right that swing is going to be. The losers are predicted to be the Green Group but also the uh, centre-left group, the Socialists and Democrats and also the centrist Renew Europe group. It's important to note that in the European Parliament it's not like some national parliaments where you might have two big parties that face each other off. Instead there are lots of different political groupings right across the political spectrum. And that is why what it will really come down to when these elections get going in June. Of course, 27 EU members, so really it's 27 different elections overall. It's going to be the exact political arithmetic of how they end up. Because what, what Brussels observers are going to be looking out for is how can these different groups get together to try and get some of a, sort of a majority to pass key pieces of legislation, which of course is the European Parliament's job. So far, what Lou's looking 
looking to be the winner, according to some big polling, is the group of European Conservatives and Reformists. That includes, for example, Giorgia Maloney's party, the Brothers of Italy. There's also likely to be a win or gains, at least, from the even further right uh, group, which is called Identity and Democracy. That includes, for example, the Alternative for Germany party, but also Marine Le Pen's national rally from France. They're expected to make some gains. I think what's going to be really interesting is particularly for legislation like climate policies, trying the EU making good on its big climate promises. With that predicted right swing, that could be more complicated moving forward. OK, thanks for taking us through that, Rosie. Rosie Burchard in Brussels.